Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Ferreira and today we're going to be talking about our learning board for the second week which is April 20th through the, 20, uh, through the 24th. And for reading, we're going to have five different op uh, activities for you to do. First one is you're going to listen to a read aloud um, and to do this you're going to have to log on to the hyperlink that says I want an iguana. And after you finish watching or listening to the story, you're going to write, why do you think the author wrote this story? And you're going to write an answer, write your answer and explain your reason. Now, the strategy here is going to be author's purpose. Now, the author's purpose is why did the author write this? Was it to persuade, to inform, to entertain, to explain, or to describe? Now, if you remember our anchor chart, most of us have this anchor chart here. And it's piad. And the per to persuade means that the author tries to convince the reader of something. It could be an article about how to help um, save an endangered animal. The I to inform and the author gives information about a topic, which could be nonfiction books with animal facts. Explain would be the author writes the steps to the, uh, the reader will follow, like directions on how to build a birdhouse um, or a recipe. Um, entertain to entertain the author writes something the reader will enjoy that could be a fiction book with characters plot um, etc all those different things that we've talked about and the last one would be to describe is the author writing to describe that means that the author uses some of the senses to tell about a topic now these could be about essays or, or uh, reports or stories or summaries about sights and uh, sounds and smells of a favorite place the next reading activity is going to be, again, you're going to go back and to listen to, re-listen to the I Wanna Iguana read aloud. And this, on this one, we're going to be inferring, okay? You're going to um, uh, uh, respond in a piece of paper uh, to this. Mom says that she would not want a tarantula as a pet. What do you know about tarantulas that would explain why she said that? And you need to draw a picture of what you think Alex's room looks like. Okay, and this will be for a grade. So remember, anything in yellow is for a grade. Now, to re refresh our memory and making inferences. This is when the authors of books don't tell everything about characters and events, and readers have to use story clues and background knowledge, which is called schema, to make an inference. So remember, a lot of you remember this from your classroom. You have text clues, which means what did you find in the book, plus what you already know, which is your schema, and that's making an inference. So your thinking stems would be, I can infer this, or this could mean this, and perhaps maybe this would be... Uh, what they're inferring. Now, remember, it's not something that they're, it's something that the author's trying to tell you, but doesn't directly put it into the, uh, the story. Another, uh, activity is, again, you're going to listen to the read aloud of I Wanna Iguana, and the strategy for this day is going to be making connections, okay? I want you to think about something you want, draw a picture of it, name the thing you want, and tell why you think you should have it. Now, making connections, um, as a reminder, is when we do make a connection either from text to text that that reminds you something that you read in a book or you read in this book that reminds you of something that you've read before. Uh, text to self that it reminds me of a time of a something maybe when you wanted something or uh, text to self of reminds you of what happened to you. Or text to world that it reminds me of something in the world. It could be a movie. It could be a um, uh, something that happened to somebody else, but that is text to world. Next activity is going to be one that's also going to, that one that's going to be turned in for a grade, remember, because it's in yellow. You're going to listen to the read aloud again if I want an iguana, and this strategy is going to be compare and contrast. Compare and contrast an iguana and a dog. Write two sentences that describe a dog, write two sentences that describe an iguana, and then write two sentences that compare both. How are they similar? which means how are they the same. Now I have here a, an anchor chart of a Venn diagram. You don't have to draw the Venn diagram. You can if you want to, but we're just uh, mostly looking at the sentences. So compare is how are they the same, okay, which would be right in the middle. But if you're not doing the compare and contrast Venn diagram, you're just going to write two sentences that are, com that are going to compare the dog and an iguana. So pretend this is the dog and this is the side is the iguana. You're going to give me two sentences that tell us something about that iguana that, that the dog does not have or is not similar to the dog. And then two things about the dog that is not similar to the iguana. If you find something that is similar, then that would go right here. So you have two sentences here, two sentences for the iguana, two for the dog, and two why they're the same. 
And the last activity is going to be um, on fact and opinion. Now, of course, you're going to go ahead, go back and listen to the story of I want an iguana. And then on a piece of paper, um, they, it said it wants you to answer the question, has the mother's opinion changed about Alex having an iguana? Okay, so maybe in the beginning of the story, she thought some uh, one way and then changed her mind about it. But uh, uh, but before you just answer that, I mean, after you answer that, they also want we also need you to use the t evidence from the text to support your answer. Now, fact and opinion. Here is an anchor chart that talks about fact and opinion. A fact is a statement that can be proven. Okay, opinion is a statement that shows how someone thinks or feels. Like a fact could be that this anchor chart was made on a white piece of paper. And it is. If we turn it around, it was printed in a white piece of paper. Now that is a fact. No one can argue that. But an opinion means what do you think? So we have two clothespins here. One is blue, one is yellow. My opinion is that I think blue is a nicer color than yellow. Well, some of you may not agree with that. Some of you might think, well, I think yellow is a nicer color. And that's your opinion. So everybody has an opinion. And so um, that's only what you think or what someone else thinks, not something that is an actual fact. 